How does it feel to be here tonight nominated with Saturday Night Live? Oh, it feels very humid and sticky. But I guess we're not terrible with the weather right now. Like, it could be worse. It's pretty hot on this carpet. It's hot on this carpet, but I think it's because we're just like, uh, forgive the term, like hot boxing ourselves. There's like walls up around us. There's a lot of bodies. A lot of bodies, a lot of, a lot of equipment, a lot of electrical stuff going on. But no, it's, it's lovely. I'm, I'm so happy to be here. Going into the new season of Saturday Night Live, a lot of cast members not returning. Right. What can you tease about what we can expect from this new season? Gosh, I haven't even been back like with people yet. And I feel like that's what determines you know, the vibe, for lack of a better term. I feel like it is all about people coming together, writing, bouncing ideas off of each other. So until we're back in like, you know, the trenches together, I feel like that's when we'll know what the what the the season will shape up to be. But I'm I'm interested to see what it'll be because it's I, I've never worked at the show without some of those people who've left, and uh, I I think it's going to be a fun new frontier. For you, who is your dream host of Saturday Night Live? Uh, I have said on the record, and I will continue to until she hosts Cher. I think Cher would be amazing. Uh, she wouldn't even have to. We wouldn't have to write her anything. I think you, you put a camera on her for an hour and a half. And then we would be so lucky to hear what she says. She could maybe do both, perform and host. Perform and host. You could do an hour of her just her tweets. That, that would be it. That could be a segment. We're be a segment. Shares tweets. Yeah. That's all. So I would love that. And for you, who's one person you'd love to run into on this carpet tonight? Ooh, I would love to run into Amanda Seyfried. I loved her in The Dropout. Um, anyone from The White Lotus. I got really shy, but I did muster up the courage to like go up to Sydney Sweeney last night. She didn't know who I was, but I'm, which, which was not the point. But she, I, I got to tell her what a great job she's she's done on all her shows. For so many actors, SNL is a dream gig. What's your advice on landing that gig now that some spots might be open? Yeah, um, I would say give your point of view. Like whenever if you if you audition, um, I was just talking to Lauren last night. He goes, you know, don't do the things that you think we want to see. Like do the things that you want to do yourself. So I think that's the advice to to everybody. Yeah. And after this is all over tonight, what's the first thing you're gonna do? I'm going to pack. I got an early flight. That's, that's Hey, a practical answer. Exactly. And one, it's, it's honest. One last question. There are so many amazing nominees tonight. What is one show that you would love to guest star on? Oh my gosh. I was just saying The White Lotus would be awesome. Just to, just so the Sydney Sweeney would know who I am. No, just kidding. Um, I mean, I, I would be so happy with any show. Like all the, all the drama nominees, all the comedy nominees. Abbott Elementary would be great. Barry Ted Lasso. I mean, they're all great shows. Wonderful shows. I know that you, like me, are a bit of a Swifty, right? Yes, absolutely. How excited are we for Midnight's? So excited for Midnight's. What a beautiful concept. Like, how has no one thought of that before? You know? It's crazy. Crazy.